I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and today I'm pretty excited about the new product I just got. I use a lot of jacks around the shop. One of the requirements is that they are very low jacks, but I've had a lot of these aluminum race jacks, and a bunch of them have gone bad. And in fact, this Snap-on jack, which I bought used from the Snap-on dealer, has gone bad once already. Luckily, he did warranty it for me, so it is still working pretty good. But maybe there's a better and more reliable way for a jack to function. So I just got this, and I've been pretty curious about these for some time. This is a pneumatic jack, so you have to connect it to shop air or have an air compressor around. But maybe this will actually be a lot more reliable than the hydraulic jacks that are always going bad on me. This thing is pretty heavy, and I need to get it put together. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. There isn't many pieces. This, they already have assembled for you. There's two pieces to the handle, a couple brackets that hold the pieces together. Then you just bolt the handle together and bolt it to the jack. Here on the handle, we have a valve to inflate, a valve to deflate, and then a safety relief valve, which I... There isn't much for instructions that came with this. I'll put it together and see if it works. That only took a couple minutes to put together. We have a cam system down here. There, we can lift it up. We have two positions that we can lift it up on. So there, it's laying flat. And standing up position. Looks a lot smaller now that it's on the ground. It moves about okay. The uh, front wheels are not the best, but the rest of it feels fine. I have it connected to an air source now and deflated. It's about six and three quarter inches tall. Let's see how far this expands. It's going slower than I thought it would. Uh, the valve fully opened right now. Already we're approaching nine inches. It's not making any more sound, so it must be completely all the way up right now. Looks like it's about 11 inches when it's fully up. Let's see how quickly it will go down. I have the air con disconnected and both valves open right now. Maybe it needs a weight to go down. No. All right, I had a kink in my hose. This hose is a small diameter and it's pretty flimsy, so I've made sure that I don't have any kinks in it now. So I'll tighten this back up. But the good thing about it being a small diameter is that the jack won't come down very quickly, just in case you accidentally did bump the valve. But the bad thing is it won't inflate or deflate quickly if that's what you want it to do, especially when we get kinks in this hose. Let's try this again. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot faster. Okay. So at least with no weight on it, it doesn't come down at all until most of the air is out of it. It's too tall to fit under a Miata, so you aren't going to be using this with sports cars. It does fit under the Jaguar. No problem with larger American cars like this GTO. And it even fits under the axle of the Chevrolet. One thing that's nice about this device is that it raises straight up. It doesn't come up at an angle like standard jacks, so you don't have to worry about the vehicle going forward or backward. And the jack is actually sitting on the ground. It's not really sitting on the wheels. So it's not going to be going anywhere, especially with the weight of the vehicle on it. 
Let's see how it does raising this truck up. Turn the air on. Well, it definitely didn't have a problem lifting the truck, but it did seem a little tippy. So I think you would definitely want to chalk the other wheels, even though it comes up straight. Looks like things still could tip off of it. You can see how far off the ground it lifted that truck. And it did it very quickly too. To go back down, we close our air source and open up the other valve. Felt like it wanted to fall on me there. Whoa. Well, I think this demonstrates how powerful air can be and how uncontrollable it can be. Pneumatics is always more dangerous than hydraulics because when something lets loose with pneumatics, it can really move very quickly. With hydraulics, things are going to move much slower. Well, that was really interesting. I am very glad to add this to my arsenal of tools. And if you don't see me using this again, that means it's not really practical for the type of work that I'm doing. But if you see me use it all the time in videos from here on after, that means I really like this thing. This jack is lighter and faster than other jacks of its capacity. It says that uh, this has a five ton capacity on it. But I would mark this down as being possibly more dangerous than a standard hydraulic jack. But this jack still has its place. And if you would like to get one of these, I have a link to it in the description below. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe. Oh.